me back. And some more of that good old practice. And this is the last practice stream. The absolute last practice stream we can do. Because uh No, I don't I don't stream tomorrow. And then we got the actual fucking tourney. So, you know, it's pretty cool. I think that looks cool. So, doing another practice with a bingo card. And this one's a bit of a, uh, a bit of a toss-up card, to be honest. So, we started off strong in the upper left, but defeat Commander O'Neill. Easy peasy. Putting in pie. Defeat a Black Blood Kindred. Blah, fuck that. Defeat a dragon soldier. Mmm, sure. Defeat Grail without status effects. We can do that. Fuck that. <laughs> but we can, I guess. Uh, acquire Grave and Ghost Glove Wart Bell Bearings. Uh, if I remember from uh, Dandy correctly, one of those is an upper chauffeur. That that that's not that's not possible. Let, let me just double check. The uh, Glovewort Ghost Glovewort. There it is. Uh, found in a corpse lying at the base of the gazebo in Nakran, the Eternal City. And yeah, Nakran is after Radon. Yep. Yep, yep. So that one, that one is just not fucking happening. Defeat a Falling Star Beast. We can do that, and it goes in well with the Somberstone Bell Bearing 1 and 2. Then defeat Renal after summons all four different spirits. Sure. Two Tunnel Dungeons. Sure. Mimic tier consumables only. That is also Upper Shofra. Post Radon. <laughs> so, row two, out. Alright, row three, defeat Morgoth. Yeah, no, that's at the end of Landale. After Goldfree. After we defeat two other Remembrance bosses. Like, Renala and Godric. Yeah, fuck that. Return Fops's Academy Key? Sure. Complete Altus Plateau Hero's Grave? Mm, sure. Now clear the Frenzy Tower in Liernia. Sure. Defeat Nome and Killer Boss? Sure. Mm, we could do that. Defeat three Urtree Watchdogs? Yeah, no problem. Acquire five Ritual Pots? I don't know where to get five Ritual Pots from. I don't really know where to get five ritual pots from. I think we can get three from Jartown? Jarberg? But I don't know where to get two more. I feel like I remember seeing one for sale at a merchant, but that's only one. I don't remember where the fifth one is. Smithing stone weapon plus 12. Sure. We just need to get the second... Uh, Smithing Stone Bell Bearing, and that's an Altus. No problem. Sell Bloodhound's Fang plus zero. Sure. 
defeat the Recruits Bull Knights. Sure. A little bit tricksy, but sure, we can we can do that. We can, we can handle it. Defeat the Remembrance Boss with the Remembrance Boss weapon only. So that's defeat two Remembrance Bosses. That is defeat Godric and Vanala with Godric's weapon. Complete two cave or grotto dungeons. Sure. Eight different talismans. Sure. We can probably do that one, right? Shouldn't be too difficult. Defeat a boss. Consumables only. Yeah, sure, no problem. We can grab a bunch of daggers and throw them at the Beastman of Faramazula. That'll do a cave as well as a talisman. Defeat a magma worm boss. I don't know. I only know of one. And that's at the end of a uh, bit of a long dungeon. But I guess we could do that one. So I guess I'm going to gun for uh, getting the caves done and the boss consumables only. To get a gun for those. Well, a cave, boss consumables only, and then go get a blood go get bloodhound fang and sell that, and then complete a second cave. That would be the first thing I do. Then we can uh, clear out two tunnels. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do two to tunnels. Mm. Completing the second tunnel, we might want to go ahead and do the thing. Thing, yeah, that that might be a bit tricky, but we can try it. All right, well, let's 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 get on into it. Three Crucible Nice isn't too bad. We definitely want a Halberd for that though, which would be good for the plus 12 weapon as well. Whee! Which, uh, with a board like this, it, I think it really is just... Get, get squares, get squares. Well, again, as usual, it's just get all the easiest squares as quick as you can, and then grab the bingo. Or then go for the bingo. Because by claiming the squares, one, you're going up in, you know, points, and two, you're shutting down potential bingos for your opponent just by grabbing these easy squares. Which is super duper fucking helpful. Actually, this is a cave. So we can uh, do that quick and easy. Yeah, we beat up the beastman of Farm Missoula. And then we'll come back and just kill Rick here. And we'll head to Weeping, so I do want to go ahead and grab this. Patience does take too much time, all considering. Since we don't have to hop off Torrent and get back on Torrent. Flap! And we completely ignore this, this chap, this fellow. Do grab these 400 runes, though. Alright. Alright, sell that. Sell that. Go and sell all that. I'm gonna buy all this.
And then before we even get Torrent, I'm going to go ahead and do this up. Yeah, it's right up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna completely ignore that dude. Touch Grace, because we want to teleport back up here to go run around and get Torrent. We're not killing him with just daggers only. Yeah, yeah, hurry up, die. Hurry up and be dead. We went to the wrong. We went to the wrong grace. Stranded graveyard is what I wanted to, wanted to go to. I think it takes eight or less throwing daggers to kill Rick. It takes substantially more to kill the beastmen of Farmazula. You don't need this grace at all. So we'll just keep on running. Uh, such a run. I forget just how long this cave takes. Take so long to do it all. But these are like the fastest two caves you can get to. I'm going to call it that, but uh, we need 10. So we would need an additional one or two. That's consumables only. It's okay for grotto dungeons. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and call that one consumables only. Even if it actually wasn't. Me. Yeah, so t nine or ten throwing daggers will get um our boy Rick back there. Uh, it's like five or six kukris. Was it four kukris? I don't know. Now we grab torrent, and then we go get bloodhound fang. Yep, 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 yep.
Uh, it's a slight time loss later for not going ahead and grabbing that one uh, grace. However, I think it's good to lose out on that time later than lose out on that time right now. Because right now, we'd be in a fucking race to Bloodhound Fang. To get it and sell it. So we can't afford anything. Can't afford mistakes. We can't afford time waste. All we, all we can do is just run and get to Darabelle. And that's the mistake that's going to cost me there. I did not do good against him that round. Come on, I've, I've owned this chap before. You've got to parry him more. This parry opens up some serious damage. go. That was a parry. There we go. That's another parry. Hey, DJ. Glad you're at the uh, airport. Safe and sound. Oh. And that's Daryl dead. And thank you, thank you. Planning having a good stream. Johnny, uh, please. Get the fuck out of here. I don't care about you. Out here, Ronnie. I need to sell a sword. Bloodhound Fang. All right. Next two things will be the two tunnel dungeons. Want to go ahead and grab those as quick as we fucking can. Can 
I think the next highest priority thing to work on would be the Frenzy Tower and the Urnia. That's just like so far away. I think that column might actually kind of be a trap. Because let's look at it this way. Uh, in theory, if I, if this is played out exactly like this and Dandy hadn't gotten a square at all, you know, if this were the canon event, Dandy would probably be trying to go for the tunnel dungeons right now. Because that's the next easiest thing to do. Then, it's a 50-50 fucking split. Between what's the next thing to do. Uh, do we go for the Frenzy Tower and the Yarnia, which is fairly easy, but it's a long way out. You have to do a lot of schmoovin'. Or defeat Krayl without status effects, which is either wailing her for a while without a bleed weapon, or kill her properly. And like, you know, kill the five dragons around her. You know what? I I think I would go after the Frenzy Tower and after this. If we manage to get the tunnels in the Frenzy Tower. I think that would be the next goal. Hello, troll. Okay. That's the troll down, and another medallion. Alright, then we go back to the first step and ride Torrent down to Weeping Peninsula. That's the next closest tunnel, it's the Morn Tunnel, I think. These guys currently alive and screaming? What the fuck is screaming? I don't fucking know. That's weird. I've never heard the screaming before. Wouldn't get distracted like that in an actual timed event, but that was... Interesting. I like the bat scream. No, it's up top here. It wasn't way over there, but it is over here. And 
Here that's close, right? The gap is fairly close. Ah. I think this is what they need to use to cross. Yeah. No blast. Alright. The Morn Tunnel is just right on the other side of this. We head directly south. Go here, past the Poison Boys. And that should be the tunnel up ahead. I don't have any closer tunnels, so I think this is it. There's more efficient tunnels that we can combine with other objectives. But I think this is the next closest tunnel. And let's see if I can remember this right from yesterday. Simply hop down, turn around, and that's not it. Hop down and go straight ahead. There it is. And it's a simple ass misbegotten. And there we go. That is two tunnels done. Okay, so again, next I think the Frenzy Tower and the Yarn is our best bet. Because that one's just time. And it is technically faster. Just because with Grail... She couldn't be fighting a few dragons. You have to fight like five dragons, and a lot could go wrong. And I kind of feel like I would go ahead and uh, cheese the night calf if going that route. Go ahead and grab this too. I'm not getting the key though. Go ahead and uh, cheese off Night Calf. So I can get some more stats, get some more levels. I wonder if Dandy would be trying with this route. I mean, probably. She's probably a lot more practice in it now. She probably doesn't mind doing it as much. Oh, shit. I failed it. And I do really fail at it. That was interesting, though. Because I have that motion pretty down pat. But yeah, that's the thing. Does Dandy want to risk... A failure in doing that jump? Or does she just have supreme confidence in it now? Because I feel like she's still scared of it. Doesn't like 
doing that jump all the time. Oh, nope, that failed. Okay. Why can't I make this jump? This jump ain't even shit. Also, how does this uh, Uchi compare to the Great Axe? The Great Axe requires a lot more strength. Thinking of the uh, wild strike attack. The Ash of War on that. Using that to clear the Frenzy Tower. But if we don't have the stats for it, we just don't have the stats for it. wrong with this jump? Let's <laughs> just slide off the edge a little bit. And then, you know, fucking land it. But, uh... It's just... No, the, the hot patch it didn't there, they just hot patched it. To just shorten a cliff up just enough that it doesn't work. That's what they did, isn't it? In the bastards. Oh, come on! Why can't I land this jump? I'm doing it so flawlessly. Like a single point of failure of it last week, I think. Yeah, I think in actual competitive setting, it's worth a single try. And if I don't get the single try, well then, fuck it, I'm not doing it. No, that's not happening. Didn't actually get the first jump off, I just fell. Which I have been just doing it correctly. Instinctually, even. But it's just not been happening. Where's the runes? Thank you. What the hell? Why is... Why is it not... Breaching? It's not even like I'm half landing on it, like I'm just a little bit behind. It's a full ass horse length. What to be causing that? That's like woefully behind.
Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. I legitimately just checked to see if there was an update that like happened overnight or today or something. But no, the last update was apparently back in July. Of the build of the game I'm running. July 27th. So like... Why the fuck is this jump not working? So confused. The chump really ought to be working. Okay, let me go this way. Now see, that's me doing it a little wrong. I landed and slid off. But I also feel like I did the exact same thing in the exact same spot. Let's get it from this way. In this way. Yeah. I am so heavily invested in trying to get this to actually function because I'm doing it without fail. Like a single failure, not, I think it was actually I failed twice but it was on the same run, like once last week, fail, fail, and then success. This has just been an absolute mockery. That one I could have jumped a little later, but... Hey, hey, hey. Again, have the rims, got the speed. <sighs> Why? Why is this not working? I didn't change up my technique at all from fucking yesterday. It's like the easiest fucking skip.
really is just the easiest fucking skip. Why can't I do it anymore? I'm not even in, like, actual pressure right now. I'm just so confused as to why I can't. Suddenly. That is like a huge time saving. Well, that's not getting it done. Fine, I'm gonna pick up my runes and go around, I guess. No, I'm not. I'm gonna pick up my runes and spend them. I'm gonna pick up my runes and spend them. That way I'll stop giving a shit about picking them back up. I'm not. That's not it. I need a quick macro. <laughs> I, I need a quit out macro. <laughs> B. Escape. Up. E. C. E. Left. E. I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult. The problem is my stream deck is so far away from me. I was there and slid off. I was there and slid off. a singular mistake I can potentially recover from. It would give Dandy a lead in time, but I can recover from it. I, again, would not be doing all of this multi-failure, because this just gives her extra time for no fucking reason. There we go. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I cannot believe it went down like that. Alright, so without any other care... Appropriate direction to go from here would be just... Directly north, I reckon. Alright, well, that works for me. 
it, take a little sip to fix it back up. And re-follow the road. Just heading north is our best bet. Hey, Candy. Yeah, DJ's at the airport. Gonna be riding on a plane. I know, that's like your entire thing. <laughs> How you doing, Candy? Welcome on in, welcome on in. Smacking the dog in their face. Crab. Currently soldering a bunch of RGB strips. Yo. Let's fucking go. What you soldering them for? I, I assume Christmas related? Assume you're doing some decorations with some RGB strips? Or are you just doing it for your desk to look cool? Which is also valid. Where you're putting them on the back of your TV, which is much less valid. Still cool, but much less valid. Redoing your mood lighting? Oh hell yeah. Let's go. I need to cross here and keep going. We've got a long fucking way to go. We are crossing all of Liernia without a single grace. <laughs> we haven't stopped for a single grace in Liernia. We don't really have much of a reason to be in Liernia. Except if we are blocked out and need to go to the school. Alright, I think our goal would be to go left here at the church. And then keep heading north after that. Because that might bring us round. No, there's no good down from here. There's no good and proper down. Whee! And the fucker is still shooting at us. Rose. Yeah, I feel like we did this discovery before too. Ow. Bastard. Is there not a grace down here? I guess not. Oh, wait, hold on. And what be you? A sneaky little peeky way up. 
Hell yeah, that skips like all of the danger of the ruins. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I think our best bet would actually be going north up the uh, lake bed. Not coming up here. Bear! Run away from the bear! No. Bear, please. Bear, no. Bear, leave me alone. Are we going to hop down from here? Whee! Yeah, I think running across the lake bed would be much easier. Okay. Since we're at this gate anyways, I'm going to grab the Bellum Highway, Grace. This one's the least... potentially usable. This also means we can grab the, uh, Sacred Tear. Grab that. Grab the... Deck Disgrace. The Deck Lift Grace, I should specify. Hey. And then we can clear out the tower. I need do need to set up the grace though. Ah, uh, Melina's gonna melina at me. She's gonna be Gideoning at me. I don't want her to Gideon at me. But she's definitely going to, because I'm sitting in a sitting at a grace outside of fucking Limgrave. That's basically the only requirement. Well, that's not even the requirement. Requirement is like walk outside of Limgrave, and when you go to the Margit fight, that's technically Stormvale region, no longer Limgrave. And therefore, she'll talk to you if you set that grace outside the boss fight. I think that's how it works anyway. I just realized I didn't set that grace. I was just complaining about it that I did not set that grace. Yep, yeah, just gonna do that. Flask, add a charge. Take a tear. Level up. Drop two in faith. Everything else in figure at the moment. Okay. And now we can properly ride. Hog left. Hopefully it won't. Damn it. There's water down there. There's, there's water down there. That's not an area we can go to. It's not like real terrain down there. Oh my god. <gasps> oh 
gonna take a look down there. Yeah, there's... Doesn't even show terrain down there. Shows those, that's it. Show those pillars. Yeah, no, there's, there's a little bit of terrain down there. Can you see it more clearly from up here? No. It's definitely water there, and then... Seems like it's land. Fucking rats. But I do have an idea. From the spirit spring, we can land on top of the little wall next to the tower. And then maybe we can use that to go ahead and jump to the upper floor. Let's go ahead and skip the fucking rats. Could also just try going up there properly, or even just going past it and grabbing the grace behind it. Like that. That's easy enough. Okay. That didn't work out. But I forgot there was a chest in here. What's in there? Probably nothing to give a shit about. And what do I got on inventory? Yeah. Nothing helpful to the cause. <laughs> Burning in chaos, madness. This is madness. Whee. Hmm. Let's double check what's in this chest. Owl of Shabriri incantation.
That's a frenzy tower clear, barely. Alright, then it'll be Grail without status effects. And, uh, except for all of the jump fails, some pretty balls to the wall pace. We haven't been able to, like, stop and upgrade our weapon or pick up anything. We got a new weapon we can actually fucking use. However, let's say we were... we got Bloodhound's Fang, but then Dandy beat us to selling it. Well, well then we have Bloodhound's Fang. That's a speedrun weapon. We'll just fucking use Bloodhound's Fang. It occurs with what? Sombers? Easy. You can easily pick up a uh, somber one. That's uh, a somber three by the spirit spring at the north end of uh, Lyernia. Well, Lyernia Lake. No, we're not going to use any magic actually, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, and then we can easily, you know, buy a two and a four. From EG. There we go. Magic grease and extra golden seed. So I suppose we could have done without him. The magic grease is helpful, because that'll help us do some more damage to the dragons. But, uh, the one additional flask, I don't know how helpful that'll be. Plus wanting it will be more helpful. I am going to grab this grace. Because if we're blocked, we're going to want to get to Altus. Pronto. Well, if we get blocked, what we would do next is head to Weeping Peninsula, grab our halberd, then get to Altus, upgrade it up to plus 14. That's what we want to do as soon as fucking possible. Okay. Grab this grace. We could put Dandy under pressure here. If this was... If, if we actually managed to get those four in a row. Put Dandy under pressure to beat up Grail without status effects. I'm gonna fucking try you all of one time. If I get you, I don't do nightcap. And avoiding nightcap to be pretty cool. Uh, 
I mean, that cat's pretty easy, but Grail here gives me a lot of runes. No fire breathing, Grail. No fire breathing, buddy. I need you to jump in the air. Like that. Perfect. Uh, you didn't land on the tree. Not actually perfect. Can I go far enough to unload the terrain to make you fall anyways? I need to get far enough that I'm still in your area. That you unload. Alright. No, that did not make him start falling. I know, I said I was only trying him once. And here I am trying him again. But, um, what, 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 can I, what can I say? What can I say? Alright, Grail. Land on top of the tree. There you go, buddy. And now walk to me. Alright, well, you slid down rather than actually falling, falling. So that makes you trapped in that terrain. I say trapped. But now I unload him. And that makes them start falling properly. There was also an item from, uh, there was a rune on the ground from running of her skull. That's gone. Alright, we got our fucking of runes. So we can pour, like, Fucking all of that into strength. Uh, what does Uchi scale off? Strength and dex? It requires slightly higher strength. I mean, slightly higher dex and strength. It could be that it scales slightly better. I mean, it says D, but we know there's multiple levels. Scaling is not quite that linear, it's, you know, like, the difference between a 1.1 and a 1.15. Because you upgrade weapons, like, oh yeah, this D is better than that D. 
Which is, you know, sometimes D's are better than other T's. And that's just the way it is. But like, the game doesn't tell you all the other st all the real numbers. Like, eh. D. Alright. Great our flask. We're gonna mount by our flasks. 20... 27. Alright. Let's see if we can kill some dragons with our Uchi. Not with the Meteoric Ore Blade, but with the fucking Uchi. It would have helped if I was two-handing the entire time. Because I accidentally parried and wanted to uh, unsheath. Yeah, it's more poise damage if you hit them in the head, but I don't think it's more actual damage. Chop, chop, chop. I stab. That's one dragon down. I don't have black flame this time. Tap. Ow. I didn't expect to be hit directly with the head. Damn. Okay. I can't say definitively, though. We're gonna want to make sure we have plenty of blue flasks. Two more unsheaths. Stab. Cut, cut, cut. I stab. And it gets the bleed off. Want to make sure it died.
One, two, three. I stab. Straight to the eye stab. You're going to get the bonus few hits in. There we go. Now the bonus few hits would have been helpful. Also, uh, let's grab our runes from over here. One of the dragons came over here to investigate. Oh. That really only hit Torrent. It sucked me in. Uh, I hit space to row, but I think I was still in recovery from not unsheathing. Because I had pressed the button, then I released it, so I could just roll instead. I think I was still in recovery for it. Damn it. Well, we could take this opportunity to uh, go up some of our stats. Ah, <laughs> oh, we only got one level. Yeah, so with the Uchi. We can actually do this. One, two, three. I stab. Power hit. Unsheath. Unsheath. Unsheath on the face. We should just power attack. I don't think a strong attack's worth it there. We just want to build bleed. That's a stagger and a kill. Far around, chop, chop, I stab, strong chop, I pet space, moment too late. Also, I kept unsheathing on its face rather than just attacking strong chop. Though I'm not sure which actually does more poise damage. But I think a strong attack on the face probably more than unsheathing on its face. I'm not sure. 
One, two, three, four. I stab. Damn it. Brusk. Yeah, this is why either Dandy would be forced to go this route to try to cut me off. Or it would buy me time, because it would force me and Dandy to do this task. Exclusively. Hmm, can also do a jump attack on its face. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, got five off. It stays on the ground for a while. Nope, that's not happening. <sighs> Just slugged its tail through me. It's bullshit clipping through terrain. First dragon is easy enough. It it's half asleep, so we I'm mean half asleep. It's asleep. So we can get some real damage off on it. We can get easy headshots like that. And go ahead and stab it in the face before it can do a damn thing to us. And it's already dead. Oh, okay, well, that wasn't supposed to be hit. Smack. A single net cut is all I can afford. One, 
There we go. And that's two dragons down. Gonna convince the other one to walk over here by itself. extremely doable. Like, we're running around with plus zero, Uchi. Like, we are just relying on bleed damage. One, two, three, four, five. I stab. I give three strong attacks to the wings, we get that reaction. Where was your roar? You were supposed to do the roar! You didn't do the roar! He didn't do the roar. Candy, you saw that, right? He didn't he didn't he didn't do the roar. Went straight into an attack. Still had the roar queued up. But like it it deprioritized that roar. Definitely got robbed, what the fuck? Two, three, four. I stab. Chop, 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 and I stab. Okay. There's the roar. Nope. Chop, 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 chop. And I stab. Chop. 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 There we go. Game. 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? It didn't give me the stab, and it trapped me. It didn't give me the stab, and it trapped me. I couldn't move. It found a new way to rob me. I cannot believe. One, two, three, four. I stab. Chop, 
Nope. Schmack. And just directly to the eye stab. Give it a good hit, just to make sure it's dead. Slap, 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 stab. Wing. Wing. The, the tail swipe. Okay. The very last movement of the tail swipe. There's still uh, hurt boxes there. Those are still hurt boxes. Interesting. Well, good to know. One, two, three. That's all I can really do. Make sure I have stamina. Damn it. Slap. Neck taps. And, ooh, that was a lead. Okay. Nope, and there goes all the bank runes. Because those stomps are so wide. Or rather... The stomps are normal sized, but the dragon is so small. These are all half pint dragons. They're at half health and they're like half size. Nope, oh, I did not want to immediately stab it. Thank you, game. Or not give me the option. One, two, three, four, five. I stab. All right. Schmack. 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 Neck cuts. The flea proc. One, two, three, four. Good bleed proc. That's another dragon down.
Chop, 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 chop. I stab. I've got the attention of an additional dragon. That's not what I want. I rolled right on that attack. That's fine. I had two dragons attention. <laughs> I don't want that many dragon attentions. Alright, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to giant fucking anchor. Four twenty, please. Okay. This is not the way to go about it. <laughs> uh, what kind of damage can we do with this anchor? Like, let me just hit the dragon in the face with it. What does its crit look like? Decent amount of damage. Definitely takes uh, more stamina to do the stuff. So I'm not sure. I think this might be working better. That wasn't far enough away, apparently. That was apparently not far enough away. I'm gonna go back to the UG. Lucky hit, lucky hit. Alright, that's the dragon down. Let's try and desperately to cancel that second attack because I didn't want it to start with but I let go of shift before I let go of the mouse
I need the smallest of mods to fix that. The smallest of game mods to fix that. I just have to go straight for the eye shot. Which is fine, it's dead now. I also feel like my game's running slow all of a sudden. Someone's going on? No? Oh, I'm suddenly in a heavy load. It wasn't a heavy load with the anchor, and I just didn't notice because. I wasn't dodging much with the anger. Just the one, please. I don't need both of you. Always gets me there. When I've like already started a second attack. On purpose or not. Always gets me there. We should move along. Nope. 
failed hit twice. That's cool. Oh, three times now. There we go. I stab. Kind of like the cheek area, but you know, we'll take this. There we go. I'm just going to straight for the eye stab. Yeah, that kills it. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe got suckered into the ice tab. And I'm running. But the other one doesn't, you know, come into attack as well. slung me oh uh, okay got another dragon coming up anyways That is four down. One, two, three, four. I stab. Flight time. You know, these, these guys do more flying than the flying dragon grail. They do more flying than the dragon named after it. Okay. You kill another fucking dragon or two. For Grail to die. Got the stab off, got the stab off.
Okay, okay. Very sloppy. But we got it, we got it. Flight time, flight time, that's fun. Oh. Alright, well, I'm just inside its ass, I guess. Oh, hey, another flight time. Okay. And that does the last four damage to Grail. Wow, okay. And that took the entire other fucking hour. <laughs> We're at hour 40 now. Shit. Like, maybe we could actually kill Grail? Like, if we could do that first fucking try, it's worth it. If we give it a try and it we don't, then we're just gonna abort. We're just giving the fuck up. Uh... I don't feel like doing much else. Let's see, actually, ritual pots. Where are those ritual pots? All right, two in Jarberg, two on Ariza's side tomb. That's side tomb. I'm, I kind of know where that's at. One in Laskiar of Ruins. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. Schoolhouse classroom side of Grace and Ray Lucaria. There, okay. So that's that's four. The Ah, isolated merchant Dragon Barrow and Pitya carrying the servant. Where the fuck is Pitya? Oh, okay, that, that's for videos, okay. Then the isolated dragon bearer merchant. That was one. Okay, that's easy enough. Lascar Ruins, Schoolhouse Classroom, and Ray Lucaria. Before the Red Wolf, two in Jarberg. And there's one over here. Over here, ish. I don't quite remember where the merchant is. So. Oh, he's way over there. That's right. Hey, right, look, there's another little dragon over here. It doesn't fucking die. It's just a roaming dragon. Smack you and see. Oh, yeah, that's full health. That one's got that health bar. Whee. 
Ui. Get the map and just keep running. Just keep on keeping on. And make sure we stay away from the doggos too. I don't want anything to do with these fucking abominations. These overgrown scrappy doos. You sell patrol pot, yay! Alright. <laughs> Another thing I want to try. <laughs> you should have an idea by my, my voice being like it is. Because I don't want to do this. But I, I fucking need to try. <laughs> the worst asshole. We do not have the health bar for this. We do not have the strength for this. So he is parryable, and we do have the ability to parry him. That does make him tremendously easier. It's still a fucking annoying slog, since we don't have Damage. Whew. But we know we can parry him. I'm gonna go look up. The fucking... Bell-bearing hunter. Mizuki with the fluid intake. Thank you, thank you. You have sufficient health. Use Lion's Claw to tank instead of the startup animation of Super Armor. Oh. Hit on time. Stance break. Form a crit. Then heal is getting up. Ah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, if you get above them, then range attack them. Um, they're also parryable, but I don't think it's actually mentioning that. Hmm. Interesting. What I just read suggests uh, buying poison arrows from this guy, the serpent arrows here. 
we can't get a lot of, but using those. Which, I mean, not really a bad, bad idea at all. Uh, is he susceptible to bleed? I assume he is. Stronger versus hemorrhage. Weaker to pierce on lightning. Okay. Yeah, for bleed, he can take a bit of it. Get quite a bit of it. Especially with this one, an isolated merchant here in Dragon Barrow. Ooh, he could take so much bleed. We set it tonight. It's just getting on the smaller building here. So we can use Torrent to hop up there. Also, I'll get our flasks. All back to health, please. Um, game? Thank you. Fine, I'll jump up here. I'll get closer to you. Been poisoned. Don't have any more arrows to use. Oh, nope. But yeah, if we had kept all our arrows, that would be a good idea. That would 100% be a good idea. Just to rain those serpent arrows on him. Uh, I am going to go get our better weapon. <laughs> Go get a halberd. We do still have a magic grease. Nope, game said no. Oh, protect me from the fall damage at least. That was good. Shump. Shump. Boop. Hey <laughs> hey. All right, let's get our halberd.
Albert scales well off strength anyways, so... It's our best shot. What do you mean the golems attack me over here? There was like one time I could have I had like was able to approach it without aggroing it. Or rather, get decently close before it aggroed. Mac. Oh, oh, miss. There we go. I completely did not even pay attention to see if I had gotten the grace or not. Me. I grew the entire lot up to me. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, buddy, boy, better miss me. Miss me with that shit. I don't want any of it. Don't give me any of it. I cool, 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 cool. He was, uh, rather full of arrow. Gimme. Danko. That puts me back at a heavy load. Take both those off and we're good. Okay. That is all I came here for. Who the fuck is targeting me? Who the hell? Still targeting me. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna walk off the edge of this. I don't care. Nope. Oh. Alright, well, we stopped anything from targeting us. We should just memory of grace. Let's compare. Okay, yeah. 
This is definitely better than the anchor. Like, pure numerical. The anchor scales better off of strength. Actually, those halberd scales off dex better than strength. Oh. Good to know. I might start tossing more to dex then instead. And even the strength scaling is actually better than the Uchis, but it's also at a plus eight, so it makes sense. We don't have either half the Dectus medallion. I don't know where I'm going. Let's go get our Dectus medallion halves. Charge! Whee! There's one smith and one, which is entirely pointless. Irrelevant. Yeah, now I can one-shot those with this halberd. It's a very strong weapon for the location. I figured he's gonna try to come at me. But I'm right. We had a, we had a. Yeah, yeah, it was here. Boing, spring, plop. Look at all these extremely. Pity rune drops. Go across this open field, which isn't much of anything right now. It's just kind of a nice. And then it gets smashed with a rock from space. Yeah, Bloody Slash can't be applied to the Halberd, so there's no point. There's no point in smacking him with it. Back to the fort here for the other half. And it's no longer really good in here. It's okay, but I'd still prefer to one or two hit 
enemies instead of, you know, fucking five, six hits on random enemies. Just random mobs. What is it? Memory of Grace. Memories. Mem mem. Memories. And well, we already have the grace for the Tectus lift, so we can just take that. There we are. And we're at seven plus two flasks. That's a uh, certainly an amount of flask to have at this time. I mean, the seven's not too bad, but you also get there rather quick. We need. Eight more golden seeds to get to ten flasks. Not that we're trying to this time. But like, just an FYI to keep in mind. We need a fair few bit more. In order for it to fucking matter. We, we have one from Weeping Peninsula. There's one, and there's another four inside. But that gets us up to six. Maybe seven. Let's see. How many are we at? We're at three. So that'll bring us up to seven. Still need one more golden seed. Maybe get our full ten. No, I'll say full ten. In order to get our uh, bingo ten. I think the full amount is fourteen. So that requires even more golden seeds. Yeah, we don't have to worry about these bozos. Yeah, we're just gonna grab these two and move along. Oh, sure. I don't want to drink that, but it also doesn't matter. That changes like nothing for us. We boop. Schmack, schmack. I still can't tell if I like the double jump more than the uh, quick dismount. I, I just need to not activate that one. Just need to not touch that grace at all. And then we would have teleported on back to the one up top.
which we could have then sat at and had Melina giddy down us for a bit for actually bringing us to the front table hold. Nah, she doesn't giddy and at us for that. It just takes so long. such a long process. Touch. And pull out the port. Oh, welcome to I teach and explore so that one ensuring yeah, 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 yeah. most time. See it, I see it. I don't know if I have enough to sell. Do the things I want to do. Sell that, sell that, sell that. So the anchor. Okay. That does get us a decent amount. But it won't be enough to upgrade our weapon. We need to catch flame. And then we need to get our finger seal. Bell bearing. Go ahead and purchase our finger seal. Then we need six of these. And then we need a dozen of those. There we go. Finger seal in hand. Now yeah, we don't have enough to upgrade that. That's why we went ahead and got our catch flame. Cause now we can go kill a tree. I say that. We need to reallocate our flasks before we can kill a tree. Now we can kill a tree. Nope, I lied. I do this every fucking time. I don't memorize the spell. I do this every time. Also, where are my runes at the right? The way back there. There's only uh, 2,000 runes. Let's have Howl of Shibriri. There's 33 faith. Jeez. Madness is a PvP build. But that's like all it is. It's good against tarnished enemies. And you don't fight a whole lot of those. It might be good against like Fucking Godfrey, I guess. I hit the wrong button. All of that to hit the wrong button. Of course, that that you know that 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 sounds about right. Actually, sounds about right. That one mistake will cost me. 
not too much because right here. Hey, Arlai. Practice is good. As you can see what I've accomplished so far on the board, I'm doing pretty good in this particular practice. Though it's been a time. It's definitely been more than two hours. Oh, come on. How did, like, three of my catch flames not hit? It's bullshit. <gasps> yeah, uh, defeating Grail without status effects. Turns out... Uh, you can kill the dragons without an upgraded Uchi Katana. It's not too bad. It's just if you don't have the health pool, uh, they will just one-shot you. And then it's bad. Actually feasible? Yeah. If you, like, don't waste any time doing it, so you have to do it basically perfect the first time. First try. But if you could do it basically perfect first try, then it's absolutely feasible. There we go, that's what I was wanting. Another drink. <laughs> When's the finals? Saturday. Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. British. Uh, the third place is taking... is happening, uh, tomorrow. The third place match. But then it's the next day. And, whew, I have so much work ahead of me on that. <laughs> right, let's get me all 12. And da -da 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 -da. if we had this precise card, I think it would have a... Uh, had Dandy like reeling a little bit, unless she actually finished. Unless she managed to get something out of that column before I did, which definitely is possible. Like definitely the tunnel dungeons. But uh, if she had managed to get the get one of those before me, then I'd be scrambling. Well, no, I, I I would have easy pass to take. But if I managed to get the before her, then I would have her scrambling to either defeat Grail without status effects. Or the Frenzy Tower in Lyernia. And I was gunning to Lyernia. I know she's not practiced in defeating Grail. So, I mean, if I, if I could push Dandy into having to go for that route, 
then I'd be doing well and good, you know? You're not, not me. I'm saying. I was also practicing something stupid. <laughs> I'm practicing the hardest bell bearing hunter. <laughs> But I don't think this is a uh, a feasible one to do at all. I need to spend all these runes I'm putting on. Actually, scales better off the decks. Ah, bro, bro. How can you start it off like that? How can you start it off pulling me out of my roll? Right at the end of my roll, he had the last grab frame. How could he do me like that? But yeah, sorry it's so late for you, Arlai. But, you know, I have a balance with dandy schedule. Plus my own schedule. <clears throat> I don't think any of his uh, magically holding the blade attacks are variable, but it's fine to surely be awake for at least a little while at that point. <laughs> Well, you know, you'd only have to be awake for like, you know, an hour. Because after an hour, one of us is going to be clearly in the lead. And it's not a guarantee at that point, but uh, it, it's pretty much guaranteed after an hour between either me or Dandy. Who's winning? Am I liking my chances against Dandy? I have high hopes. I have high hopes. <clears throat> it's probably going to be like this Bell Bearing Hunter. Where just like, parry, 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 die immediately. <laughs> One hit. Dead. No, neither, neither of these is going to help me, but I'm going to put the Flame Drake Talisman on. Yeah, do I think I can win? Yeah, I've got to win. I'm going to win. But, like, it's going to... It's going to suck. Be such an actual slugfest. Bro. I rolled. You can't do that to me. I rolled. Grab oof. Right? So far away. All his attacks one hit me anyway. I don't have the ability to withstand any of his attacks. And it's so annoying to refight him. I have to wait till night, sit back down at the fucking thing. And half the time I don't roll. I feel like start walking backwards. Honestly, the Grail's little dragons were a fairer fight. <laughs> I 
Now, there's easy cheese for him. You need a fuck ton of arrows, and you need, like, some poison, and some rot arrows, and... <sighs> Dragon Commander deck ride a few days ago. Nice! Approved. I need to build my new deck around the modified version of my custom commander. But I still need my custom commander to actually work in my Forge program, and I can't get it to work, and no one in the program, no one that uses the program wants to help me script it. Like, it's just a single part that's not fucking working. I didn't have the stamina to parry the second one, because I failed to parry the first one properly. Detch, big detch. Yeah, unless I just have a full stack of arrows. And then, like, status effect arrows, like the poison ones I can buy from this dude. Unless I'm doing it that way and spending a lot of time. Th this guy's not happening. Ooh. I didn't even know I could parry that one. I don't think there's enough perfect gameplay for me to survive this dude. <laughs> Am I going to keep trying? Absolutely. Do I have confidence in beating this guy up? Absolutely not. I'm confident he's going to keep slaughtering me. I failed to parry the attack, and so all my stamina is gone. Ugh. And again, I had this same issue when I was legitimately playing through. It's like, ugh, I keep, I just, with facing these fuckers. It's such an annoying process to fight them again. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I died. I get it. Why do I have to wait for night again? Sit back down again. Just for him to, you know, kick my shit in again. Night calves are very similar. It's not even the button presses, like, yeah, that too. It's the weight. It's the lack of doing something. Like other bosses, you die, you stand back up from a grace, you walk, interact with fog gate, you're there. And it's like, alright, wait till night, stand up, sit down, stand up. Doesn't take that long, but doesn't feel like it's active. And then how this game reads inputs. I, st I still... <laughs> I wonder if I can make that mod. To fix the fucking input reading.
That was, uh, Arla, you don't, you don't use keyboard mouse, you use controller for this game, right? I'm pretty sure everyone else on the fucking planet uses, uses a controller. I'm the only one that keyboard mouse this game. That's not true, but it feels like it is. Shift left click is, you know, power attack. If you were to release shift before left click, congratulations, you just queued up a normal attack. And you can't interrupt that shit. But yeah, KBM's gonna be my advantage you can stand it, because I mean, obviously. <laughs> I have more buttons available. <laughs> you know, let me let me just demonstrate it. Attack. Hold shift, left click. Left click, and it does what you expect. Shift, left click, release shift. Alright, half the time it does. Oh, they, there, there was a normal attack. Shift, left click, release shift. There he goes. Yeah, usually, you know, hold left click in the power attack and make sure it's fully charged. And then, I don't know why, but I release shift first. It's not like consciously I'm releasing shift first. It's just, I release both and that comes up a millisecond later. I want to make sure it doesn't have a second, I have to consciously release mouse first. And it's not a conscious thing on my part to do it the other way first. Boop. Decent chunk of damage, though. in melee range. Stop using your magic at me. It hurts so much. I'm gonna stop fucking trying with him. I'm going to go beat up the one that does at Bernal's place. <laughs> that one's easier. <laughs> I also forget what they drop. But it doesn't matter. I know they drop a bell bearing and it's like some random one. No, oh, not really random. Yeah, it's basically just a fucking random one. One of them probably drops the uh, grave one. But the ghost club war bell bearing is a uh, Nocron, which is post Radon, which is fuck that shit. <laughs> Can I. Beat Radon in bingo? Yes. I, I've, I've done it within the time limit before. But fuck that shit. Hold on. What's supposed to appear here? Why isn't he here? Hold on. Ooh. 
gravity stone peddler's belt bearing. Uh, so the most useless one then, yeah? Alright, it's night. There we go. Alright, how much damage is this doing? Oh, that is tremendous. That's a good amount of damage. <laughs> now that guy got wrecked. This one fucking crumpled, right? I mean, it helps that I'm using a plus 12 halberd. <laughs> that certainly doesn't hurt that I'm using it, but uh... <laughs> he fucking dead. Like, big dead. Where do the other ones spawn? Uh, the church. The Hermit's Merchant Shack. Uh, that was the wrong thing to open. Uh, let's open up a notepad. Defeat three bell bearing hunters. Defeat three bell bearing hunters. Ah, okay. So that one we can get to. Okay. So we can get to all four bell bearing hunters within Bingo. It's just that that uh the Dragon Barrow one is the most fucking difficult one to do. Most difficult and most annoying. Uh, I guess I went to the wrong spot. Oh. Hey. Let's see how the other ones fare against this halberd. There it is. So we could have got to it. Whee! What? What the fuck? What? I was robbed. I barely even comprehend what just happened. Like, I, I had the protective wind, and then I died on impact. Can the wind only protect from so much? Okay. I didn't die that time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ay ay ay. I can't even begin to comprehend what kind of bullshit just went down. Alright, I'm gonna try to climb up this way. Do I need to try? No. Do I want to? Yes. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that one was on me. That, that one was on me. I'll take credit for that one. 
Ach, Wapsi. <laughs> oh, is, is, is that the one I added? Keck, you died. Nice. I don't remember actually adding that one, but I guess I fucking did. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of uh, 7TV stuff though, uh, the other two chats I have that work with 7TV uh, well, the overlay chats? They, um, populate from bottom to top. The, the, the chat I'm using now, this populates from top to bottom. Which is how I prefer it. The other one goes bottom to top. Which means it starts under me. Which is not good. Now, if I had, you know, had like a more active chat or something, or the other two, a uh, fusion chat and something, I'd just call it J chat. And if I had like a more active chat that could actually fill up the chat box, no, oh, that, that'd be fine then. Acceptable. Because that means uh, messages actually get pushed up above me more often. But as it stands, they don't do that. Which is not good. Jump. Touch. Bruh, right? And there was no option either. Like, I looked to see if there was an option to make it just fill in from top to bottom. Nope. Uh, no option. It's just a simple fuck you. But yeah, no. We assume you want bottom and top and that's it. Just like new messages on bottom. Feels like a pretty vital option to have. You would think. But no, newest message is on the bottom. Once a newer one comes in, it shoves the others up. Here was this one, it puts it on top and then puts every message below that until the top one times out. But the other one, it's new message at bottom, message comes in after that, it slots in under it. And pushes the older one up. And just slowly builds it up to the top. Except the messages also time out. And there was not a way to change that either. So there won't, wouldn't just be permanent words. That could actually slowly push things. Nope. And again, you would think that would be an option. But apparently not. All right. Muriel, you're still here. Why are you still here, Muriel? It's, a uh, Baron Hunter time. Bro. Yeah, yeah, let me actually talk to you then. How about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't, I don't really care. Muriel, bro, you're supposed to f fuck off so that the bell bearing hunter shows up. Why are you still here? Muriel does sell two sorceries. Why 
I just wait till night again? I suppose. I don't know. Oh, he's gone this time. Bro. Just drilled my chest out. Like, shit. If I knew you were gonna drill me like that, I would have assumed the position. <laughs> Why is the Statue of America so far away? Note to self, don't respawn the Statue of Marika here. Does nothing. Because one, I still need to wait for night. But two, it's so far away. The grace is much closer. Muriel, the fuck are you still doing there? There we go. Ah! Now I want you to crumple. Crumple. And that's the second bell bearing hunter tank down. The meat peddler's bell bearing. Peddles and meat, you say? Why? I haven't had meat in ages. So, the bone, the meat, gravity is the fourth one. What's the third one drop? Obviously nothing of importance. Because none of these bell bearings are fucking matter. Whee! Just some good dark soil. Fairly fertile ground. I mean, I guess dark soil is, you know, full of carbon. That's extremely important. But why is it just common knowledge that dark ground is fertile. I guess it's not common knowledge. I don't know how common it is. Hey, Smith and Five. Jump! Well, we approached here at night and we actually have the merchant here. Who does not sell anything that we care about at all. Good to know.
Ah. He's definitely gonna take a lot more hits to deal with. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Yeah. Well, good to know. He's a one hit kill. <laughs> you need a nap? Don't take a nap, Arlai. Wait till actual sleep time. Take a proper sleep when you need it. Had a rare late night drinking last night. Uh, you only slept like five hours. Oh, brusk. Wanna catch up a bit? You can't catch up on sleep. That, that is that is not how it works. You don't wanna screw up your sleeping schedule, even if it's already absolutely destroyed. Even if you don't have one, you don't wanna mess it up. Why are you starting that move? How can you start off with that move, my guy? Right next to you, you have no reason to be flinging your sword all over the place. We're next to each other in a building. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do me like that. No. That one was on me. I was greedy for an extra hit. I was greedy for an extra early hit. Even though my hits, like, don't do too much. Do they hurt him? Yes. Do they hurt him much? Not really. They do damage. But, uh... I just have to wait for openings to parry. I rolled. That's the thing with these high-level bosses, though. High-level enemies. It's just like... I get hit once and die. It can just be over in a fucking instant. That's why I feel like the focus sash should really be in this game. Just give me a medallion. That doesn't let me die if I'm at full health. Oh. 
Bro. As he started to the move, I was like, oh shit, he can yeet himself with a shield. I forgot. So I rolled to dodge it, and he got me anyways. Which I also remembered happened constantly. <laughs> Yeah, so the first hunter fucking crumbled. Second one, put up a fight. This one, fucking bullshit. Hey! Got another one off on him. Bruh. I... I had rolled. But then I stood up at the end of its fucking path. Fucking hell. <laughs> this one is a far more doable than fucking Dragon Bearer, though. Far more doable than Dragon Barrow. I didn't really know what move he was going to do there. But it was one that had a slightly more delay to it. Alright. Last try. Last try. I can parry a stab. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Hey, Spray, how's it going? <laughs> you can even wonder why you're friends with all of us after embarrassing with your girlfriend in the stream. Spray, what did you expect? If you didn't share her Twitch username, and if she didn't come into chat saying that she was told to lurk by you, then it would have been a normal stream. <laughs> really, she painted the target on you. And you also painted it on yourself. If you hadn't have said anything... 
And then someone came in and was told to lurk on Dandy. And I'm like, who? But like... Spray, this is what friends do. You tell your friends not to embarrass you? They're absolutely going to embarrass you. You know this. You know this. <laughs> you have no one but yourself to blame, Spray. I know you. Yeah, bruh. That's what I know. Me, Char, coming in with the three more fucking feet. Hold on, let me go block those terms. <laughs> How you doing, Mitchar? Y'all both came in after I should have wrapped up stream. Come on. Y'all know better than do that. Y'all did it anyways. Y'all fucking know better than to do that. Jeez. <laughs> they super late days to be awake on Saturday for the finals? Hell yeah. The, uh, first place losers, you know, third place, that's tomorrow. Then the finals are Saturday. But, um, today we're gonna go pay a visit to good old Santa. Playing some Warframe. Because, uh, I want to go get me fucking fresh baked cookies. And, uh, we'll tell y'all to fuck yourselves. And to come back on Saturday at 1 p.m. EST for a fucking B2 Bingo Finals versus the boss herself. Dandy, the organizer of this V2 Bingo tournament that is sponsored by Fight Ramen, I'm going to knock her lights out and take this ramen home. And I will brew the ramen. Yes, I, I'm going to brew the ramen. I'm going to brew the ramen in the victory cup, in that victory chalice, right in that trophy. So y'all better fucking be there, right? 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 Spray, I know you're going to be in Dandy's chat, 